So also the asset curve for the company is low, but it's uh, normal for this industry. The price per earning, <coughs> you can really see that 2008 and 2009 was low because of what happened in 2010. But the market is getting pretty confident again. Uh, price to book ratio, again under one, not a good sign for the company. <coughs> Uh, for the leverage, they have been, they don't have much, it's not a lot, so that's maybe something they could improve, put more, their credit parts could improve, make, make more loans to maybe grow their company. Profit margin 2010 went down, not surprising, when you know how much repair, how much money they had to put into repairs. Uh, stock price, supposed to go a little bit down to next year, but nothing to be too around the back. Economic value added, again negative 122. Uh, that, like I said, it's 32. They could maybe go up to 40 <coughs> percent. Supply chain management, again, uh, one of the customers shared, and I found really interesting that uh, three out of five companies in this industry had shared as a customer. Uh, so for the, this industry, my pick will be Halliburton because overall they have the best ratio and they're the one, even they were really close to what happened in the BP oil spill, they're the one that got out of it uh, less harmed. <coughs> this company is in the, I'm sorry, utilities industry. So this industry, uh, you can characterize but by they have low asset turnover and they don't have much fixed asset and they really have a high uh, leverage. So the, this, uh, this company, NTG, suffered a lot from the slowdown in 2008 in the economy. Uh, they were like one of the first ones to be hurt. <coughs> you can see the liquidity ratio of them went down and uh, uh, their profitability went down as well. That also because they had to close, uh, they had issues with their nuclear plants, so they had to pay for that. That's reflected in the PE ratio as well. The PV ratio went down as well, and that's really bad because they're getting closer to the one. That's critical profit margin. Again, not surprising. They had a lot of, of cost to cover. Uh, they still there's still not much to worry about because they're tied. They can pay four times what they owe in debt. So for this industry, having a lot of debts is not really an issue. Uh, the stock price is supposed to go down to uh, over 64 cents. <coughs> As you can see, debt is a really big part, uh, part of the cost of the capital. It's actually the biggest part. <coughs> and the economic value added. It's minus five or seven dollars. Supply chain, I mean, most uh, of their customers are people like you and me, so there's not much you can see on this. Uh, next company is X7 Corporation. They're considered the cheapest uh, power up there because it's a nuclear power. They suffered a lot, and you can see it more on the profit margin ratio because the price of natural gas went down, so they cannot be as much competitive as they used to be. So, but the market is a confident in them, and uh, the PV ratio went down as well, which is normally in this industry. The tide went down, that's what I would be worried about, when they, but the leverage went down as well. So they need to worry about how much they can pay off their debt. <coughs> Equity stay pretty much the same except for the current ratio. Nothing to be too much concerned about. What I would be concerned would be the ROI and the ROI that went down. Um, uh, the shareholder are not making as much money as they used to, so they, they can show some concern about that. Assets turnover low for the industry, nothing to worry about. Um, they, made a, they actually have the best economic value in the company. So that's good, and they also have the less leverage, I think, or one of the lowest. Uh, 
that is only 40% of the capital structure and economic value added is $1,835. Management again, we don't see really what their customers are. So, next company is First Energy Corporation. Uh, the dividend have uh, been pretty consistent of 0.55 since 2009. Uh, they suffer from their slaughter as well, and they had to get rid of 287 million in assets, I believe. Uh, because of the regulations they had to follow with the new rules. So that's costing them a lot. You can see, you don't see in the liquidity that it, <coughs> sorry, you don't see much in the liquidity ratio that did not hurt them as much, but you see it a lot in the return on earnings and their return on asset because they don't make as well self as a used to from their assets. Assets turn very low. Nothing to worry about. Uh, price per earning went up a little bit, not too much, but still. So the market is confident. <coughs> price to book ratio is good compared to the others in the industry. And uh, profit margin went down. Makes sense with all the assets they have to, to sell. And they also had to close a uh, coal fire uh, power plant, so that costed them some money as well. Uh, the pr stock price is supposed to go up from 38 to 44. Economic value added positive to 66. <coughs> and the debt is 53% of their cost of capital. So I'm here not much to see about the supply chain. Next company is American Electric Corporation. <clears throat> so the liquidity went up actually from 2008. I mean, it went down from 2009, but they're pretty much the only ones that were able to get and uh, maintain good uh, liquidity. Uh, our return asset and return on equity went down as well, which makes sense with the slaughter in the company. Assets are very slow. Price per earning. Um, it went down from 2010 uh, because they also had to close many uh, many plants they had, so they had to deal with this issue. That's also why their profit margin went down. And I would be worried a little bit about the tide because it's not really high compared to their leverage, knowing how much uh, debt they have in this industry. And but it's I guess it's alright because. Their leverage went down 